Season 3, Episode 32. The title of this morning's message is, I am so angry. The setting. Mu is visiting with Google, Chromia, and Firefox. When he discovers something has happened to make Chromia mad, Chromia had a climate change presentation he had to make in class day. Let's look in to see exactly what happened. I am so angry. Why? What happened? Yeah, tell us the story. I was feeling really good about my research and presenting my findings to my science class. The project title is How Climate Change is Hurting the Polar Bear Population. Haven't you heard the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change? Which change? The climate change all the time. I see where research say temperature decline from 1940 to 1980. And in the early 1970s, global cooling became the reason. By the 1990s, temperatures appears to have reversed and the global warming is now blamed as the reason. Some scientists say the greenhouse effect to the Earth's atmosphere is not scientifically proven. Heated greenhouse gases become lighter as a result of expansion. They ascend to the atmosphere only to give the absorbed heat away. I could be wrong about this greenhouse issue, so I am waiting a note to myself. Don't buy any green Hong Kong apartments. They will be not keep my family warm in the winter. When I presented my research report to the class, some people bored me. Did that make you mad? No, I feel somebody has to speak up for the poor and tender bears of the world. It is really true that the earth is getting warmer because of gases from factories, cars, and coal refineries. Then we should try to stop these gases from getting into the atmosphere. What did the teacher say about the students' reactions? She urged everybody to stop interrupting and listen to my presentation. Did that come and help? Yes, until I finished. We usually discuss the presentation afterwards as a class. But the issue divided by our class and the discussion turned into a shouting match. So, it sounds like the conflict ended with an argument. How could that make you mad? After school, four classmates were waiting for me near the MTR entrance. They wanted to hit me. So I ran through the station, down the escalator to arrive at the train platform. At that point, there was nowhere to go. They chased you through the station? That sounds hard to believe. Charlie and Billy were hitting me with their school boat bags. That really hurt. I couldn't see a way to safety. Then the train came. I waited to the last possible second to enter the car so they can follow behind me. That sounds like a violent attack. Did they hurt you? No, it's a small thing. There are CCTV cameras everywhere. Your attack could be on the, the evening news. I'm so angry now that I could just punch those boys in the nose. They will only get you arrested for assault. Your classmates will get in trouble with the police and be suspended from school. The question now is, what is the best way for you to handle your anger? Okay, if I can't punch them in the mouth, can I ask y'all to break the jaws for me? Um, this is a uh, most unusual prayer request. I have often read in the Bible of God defending his people against an attacking nation. Here in Psalm 3, I have found an unusual prayer request to God from King David. He's in a deadly conflict with his son Absalom. And when he says, Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. That doesn't sound like a prayer request when King David wants to sit down and talk to his son. A broken jaw sounds like a painful punishment. This prayer of King David expresses his feelings of anger too. This is a real life situation. 
prayer is the way we communicate with God. It is unreasonable to think all our private prayers to God will be happy and full of thankfulness. Seriously, I can express that anger to God also? You can do so, but remember, your prayer does not represent God's answer. And in the days that follow, things may happen to open your eyes to see this conflict in a different way. Okay, let me read our prayer. Dear Jesus, I am so mad right now. I want you to defend me in this conflict. Bring fire down from heaven to burn the clothes of my enemies. I cause my enemies to be hit by a speeding man in the bus so they break a leg on the way to school. If you can work out a robbery in which they get in, I won't complain. In your name I pray. Amen. Today, we can't all say amen to your prayer, but let me add... Lord Jesus, help Chromia manage his anger in these days that follow. Open his heart to surrender the anger to you. Give him wisdom to find a healthy way forward in this situation. In your name we pray. All right, I agree. Amen. Amen.